This is John Steele reporting on Adventure. A friend of mine once said bravery is the lack of fear. Well, that was pretty true, I thought, until I saw lack of fear turn a man into a coward. It's a story of adventure in the bull ring of Spain. I call this transcribed yarn, The Cape or the Shroud. About 30 kilometers north of Madrid in the province of Castile, Spain, is the ancient town of Segovia, small and antiquated in its way. The people are largely farmers, growing either grapes for wine or olives for oil. They're a placid crowd, except on Saturday afternoons. Then they congregate on the outskirts of town in a small weather-cracked arena of dusty, dried brick. The Plaza del Toros, the place of the bulls. I'd gone up to Segovia from Madrid for the day and was taking my seat in the plaza when I looked up to see a dark-haired girl with a kind of beauty you find only in Spain. She came closer and sat next to me. I dragged my eyes away from her and saw that she was with a guy. John Steele! Pedro! Pedro Montoya! Steele! Uh, good to see you again, John. Hey, it's been a long time. Too long. Carmen, may I present John Steele, a very old friend. How do you do, senor? Senorita Carmen Del Valle. Senorita? 36, wasn't it? Yeah, 36, last time I saw you. I was wounded, dragged out of the war. Yeah, I lost track of you. But what are you up to now? He, senor, is Pedro Montoya, the greatest torero in Spain. Hey, no fooling, Pedro. You did it, eh? See, si, John, <laughs> I am Montoya, the bullfighter. Hey, I thought the crowd was looking at you, senorita. Yeah, they all love my Pedro. Well, John, have you any plans for after the fight? Me? I never make plans. <laughs> I just thought maybe you would come into Madrid and spend a few days with me, huh? It's all right. I haven't really done Madrid in years, but... I'm going to watch you fight if I have to stay here the whole season. <laughs> now it is time, Pedro. Yeah, the picador is finished. Oh, look, he's off the young. Yeah, not much more than a boy. Attractive. This young Torero, Carmen. I like his performance. This one is named Montiego de Vaca. Ah? I think he is the son of Arturo Cabeza de Vaca. Aha. He had money behind him. They call him Tayo. Uh, this Tayo, he has not had to struggle to learn to fight them. <laughs> Everybody can't be poor to start. My kind of fighter started with nothing. I had no time, no money for anything else. I spent my life learning to control the bulls. It's the only way to where I am today. Well, this one seems different. See, si, he handles the bull with ease. Ah, uh, look, look, he's seen you. He's bowing. Ah, he is grandstanding. He's doing the pass in your honor. He better watch the bull, not me. Well, this kid seems to know what he's doing. Look, look, he has the nerve to imitate my style. Why, he's going... It's your stance. Why, he's going to try your pasta de morte. A big fool. You're the only man to ever do it. I never would have believed it if I had not seen it with my own eyes. No man other than you has done that and lived. He is magnificent. Oh, yes. I must meet this story. I will arrange for it tonight. Your wine, senor. Ah, gracias. Carmen, I will tell you what we are celebrating. Day after tomorrow is my biggest fight. All your fights are big. Your biggest, Pedro? How's that? It is going to be my last fight. What do you mean, darling? We can buy that bull ranch and get married, senorita. We live the life of country nobles. You're quitting? As for that, I have decided. And now that you're retiring, you want me to marry you and retire to raise bulls? Glad I made it to see you fight once, anyway. I have seen too many young toreros. They get caught up in the bloodlust of the crowd. They go on and on. More is expected of them each time they fight. They devise new thrills for the mob. Then one day, they go too far. They give the crowd what they actually came to see anyway, the execution. Ah, uh, no. 
Not for me. It will be finished after this one fight, Pedro? I have made up my mind. Congratulations, Pedro. I have made arrangements for our marriage right after the fight. All these years you have refused to marry me. When I am living a life that belongs to the mood of the bull, I have no position to give it to anyone else. Now that you are retiring, what have you to give me? Darling Carmen, my love. Let him relax. Enjoy life, huh? You are right, Senor Steve. I am sorry, Pedro. Just a surprise, I guess. It is my pleasure. Senorita and senors, please sit down. Senorita Del Vallo and Mr. Steele, Senor De Vaca. Hello, Mr. Steele. What a pleasure to finally meet the famous Montoya. And as for you, Senorita, I am speechless before such beauty. What a pretty little speech, Senor. Please, call me Tayo. Wine, Senor De Vaca? An honor, Senor Steele. Uh -huh. To your continued success, Pedro. Gracias. I asked you to join us because I wanted to congratulate you. You looked as good as I've ever seen. Gracias. I have not nearly achieved the finesse and fame of Pedro here, but I tried. Kid, if anybody's got it, you have it. And your next fight will be in Madrid, no? Is that so, Senor uh, Tayo? See, si, I have been fortunate. You are young for such success as this. <laughs> success comes early or not at all in this business, my Carmen. Mm, that music is wonderful. See, si. Oh, but forgive me. Here we've been talking, and you must want to dance with Carmen. Oh, Pedro does not dance. Uh, Mr. Steele, then. Uh, not exactly a Fred Astaire, either. Oh, oh. I'm sure our young Torero dances, and very well, too. It would be an honor, senorita. Gracias. You look concerned, Pedro. See, si, John. They make a good-looking couple. Realize, tomorrow is my last fight. And I am getting married right after. Tonight we will do Madrid. Yeah, we'll do Madrid, but easy, boy, easy. Not too much wine, you know. <laughs> Remember, you fight tomorrow. <laughs> do not worry, John. Ah, here is our hotel. Uh, please ring Senorita Del Valle, sweet. I am sorry, senor. Ah, then she'll be right back? She says she'll be right back, maybe? No, senor. No? No, she left dressed for the evening. For the evening? Si, senor. With a fine young gentleman. Who was it? She left with Senor De Vaca, the young bullfighter. Tayo. Si. Wait. Wait, Senor. Is there no message? Some misunderstanding, Pedro. Huh? A mistake, that's all. No, John. There has been no mistake. Take one man, especially a bullfighter, who has had his ego knocked around by a beautiful dame. Add one bull ring and two large bottles of cognac. The result is predictable and extremely dangerous, especially the night before a bullfight. The next afternoon in Pedro's dressing room under the stands of the old bull ring, I saw the grandpappy of all hangovers. Oh, I feel awful. Coffee, huh? Coffee will help. No, no. Oh, my head hurts. Well, don't get mad, but I told you so. Oh. Here, cold towel will pick you up. No, no time left, John. You sure you feel up to this, Pedro? Uh, hey, help me with my sash, huh? Yeah, spin. Go ahead, spin. I've got the end. Uh, oh, dizzy, dizzy. You want to go out there? Are you okay? Ah, uh, see, si, see. Si. I feel better when I get into the arena. I don't know. John, you know something? The next time I step in the ring and meet the bull, I will die. You're, you're what? Today, I will die. Are you serious? Certainly, my old friend. The secret to success is fear. You... Huh? When I have fear of the bull, I have command. I... See, I will try. And I will die. Your eyes. Your eyes show fear. See, fear of death. But not fear of the bull. See, see, I'm coming. My cape and sword, please, John. Gracias. I followed Pedro. I followed him down the long, dark tunnel that led to the arena. The spot of light at the opening grew larger and changed to shocking sunlight and screaming spectators. The sun was hot and getting hotter. I stopped at the fence. Pedro, his face glistening with sweat, walked out into the ring. The crowd grew still as he stood there, eyes slowly circling the faces of the spectators. 
His eyes said he saw only vultures. He jerked his head away, and I followed his dark glance. It stopped and riveted on the bull. The crowd was ominously silent as Pedro stared. Little rivulets of sweat running down his temples. He saw the glistening eyes, the massive strength, and the terrible horns, the sharp, treacherous horns. The huge, glistening needles that can tear a man's entrails out and pin him to the board. The bull came on. A flush ran over Pedro's distorted face as he turned and ran, ran as fast as he could pump his legs. You gotta get off of this kick. I want another drink. Now look, liquor's fine. Use it for fun. Liquor's a good thing. This way, no. Gotta cut it out, Pedro. What do you mean, huh? Want another drink? The bartender. We won't let you have any more. Bring him here. I tell him who can drink and who can't. Couldn't serve you even if he wanted. He's to. against the law to serve ex bullfighters, huh? Only intoxicated ex bullfighters. Who's intoxicated? Uh, in uh, who's drunk? You, my friend. Ah, see, I am drunk. Very drunk. John. Come on, boy. Your hat. You're going home. And I am going to stay drunk. See, that is what I'm going to do. Stay drunk. You've been doing your best for the last three weeks. Then why shouldn't I? They can make the stuff faster than you can throw it down, you know. Ah. <laughs> oh, I've never had such fun, Tayo. Pedro. Uh, who's that? Carmen and Tayo. Ah, uh, Carmen. Carmen, my faithful little querida. Pedro, you worried me sick. Worry about your little boy, not me. Pedro. I suppose he's been helping you look for me, no? Yes, Pedro. Have you looked in all the cafes? Oh, Pedro, look at you. You haven't shaved in days. How long have you been wearing that shirt, that filthy shirt? You think a clean shirt and a shave make the man, huh? Come, come Pedro. We'll take you home. Ah, right? Take your hands off me. Take them off me. Come on, come on, enough, you two. Cut it out. Pedro. Cut it out. All right. Only trying to help. That's better. Go away. You found me. Now leave me alone. I'll see him home. Come, Ty. Let us go. See, see, go on, get out, get out, get out, you will, get out! I lost touch with Pedro for a few days, but I heard about him. He was down and out, flat, flat broke. He was drinking too much and not eating. Waiter. Waiter, waiter, waiter. See, si, senor, what do you want? A drink. You want a drink, senor? See, si, I drink. To drink, one must have money. You do not trust me? I did not say that. Think I cannot pay, no? All I said was... I am Montoya, the bullfighter. You? You are Pedro Montoya? <laughs> I am General Franco. It is true. You better leave, senor. I will show. You will what? Remember when Montoya was gored on his arm? See, it was in uh, all the papers. Well, see, see, this scar. There, you see. Oh. Oh, but, senor, you close your... I drink, I drink, quick. Oh, drink. but of course, senor, but of course. Uh, quick, the drink, quick. Oh, senor, I am so sorry, uh. I... Uh. Another. Certainly, senor. Uh, gracias, gracias. I, I did not mean to shout. Of course. I just, uh, I just needed a drink. For years I have watched you. What, what is wrong, senor? Wrong? You were proud. I must go. I, I must have left my money. I, 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 no, I understand, senor, I understand. Next time. Ah, see, si, see. Si. Next you, time. You would like another drink? No. No, I, 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 I must go. looking for you. Hey, John. Am I not still Montoya? What do you mean? Have I fallen so far, so far that... What is it, Pedro? Hey, John. Will you come with me? Well, sure, but, but where? I'm going to try to get another fight. Like most Spaniards, Pedro Montoya was a man of great pride. In his mind, he lowered himself when he went to look for bulls to fight. He was sharply disappointed to find that he wasn't wanted. Worse, that he was laughed at. 
After he'd been chucked out of a couple of agents' offices, he took a swing at one of them. I grabbed his arm and got him out into the street. I, I'm sorry, John. Sorry. No harm done. I should never lose my temper. You and the rest of the guys in this world. Agents. The agents say that I am all true. Ah, what do they know, Pedro? Why would they be without the monitor, huh? Without me? Well, you're the ones telling me. And even the bullfighters are no more. What's left, rotten toreros like Tayo, frauds. Easy there, pal, easy. The men who fight the bull because they must, for the sake of honor and sport, they are the real toreros. Yeah, yeah, sure, Pedro. You want to try any more agents? No, no, no. How about Tayo, huh? What about him? Maybe, maybe he can help, huh? A little talk with Tayo. <laughs> Pedro, if I could do something to help, I would. It's just that, well, after your last fight, You don't I... think your words, if spoken to the right ears, would help, huh? I, I... Oh, Tayo, I love my new room so much. There was a time when the women were loyal to their men. You thought I loved you? Hey, what a joke. You think I am surprised? No, I never loved you. I tolerated you. You took me places. You spent money, that's all. And now Tayo and I are going to be married. After his fight tomorrow. And it is not his last fight. I will be his wife while he is a hero. Not when he is finished, washed up, a scared old man who runs from the bull. Tayo fights tomorrow. See, he fights in what was to have been your place. Oh, don't look so shocked, my dear ex-Torero. He's good. He has been acclaimed by all. Now you get out and leave us alone. Come on, Pedro. Let's get out of here. I was going, I was going. But first, what bull does he fight? One of my father's finest, Diablo. I will be there to watch. What are you doing, Pedro? Taking off my shoes, naturally. There. Now, may I have my cape, John? Hey, wait a minute. You can't. That's exactly what I am going to do. But Pedro, if you work him now, he'll be ruined for the ring. No one will know that. But Pedro, the bull will learn after a few passes that he's not after the cape. That it's the man who is his real enemy. That is true, but he won't learn tonight. I'll tease him just enough so that when he is in the ring tomorrow, he will know. After a few passes, he will go for the man. No, Pedro, you can't do that. My cape, John. But Tayo fights Diablo tomorrow. I know. Quickly, my cape. He's seen us. Here he comes. He shook the Mileta violently. Diablo trotted forward, cantered, then burst into a full gallop. He charged hard across the expanse of yellow moonlight toward the tantalizing figure. I sprinted for the fence, slipped under it, and turned in time to see Pedro raise his cloth slightly. That was the only movement he made as the razor-sharp horn sliced by five inches from his leg. With cold, hard calculation, Pedro worked the bull. He was superb. He ran Diablo only five times. It's getting close to fight time, Pedro. See, si, Jan. Well? Just because you don't approve of what I have done won't change it. I've given you every chance, pal. You had all morning to stop this fight. Stop it. <laughs> Known you a long time. You've got a temper, sure. But killing, I didn't think you could go through with it. Tayo deserves to die. That's not for you to decide. You're on the bull. And now you're going to stop this fight or I will. My friend, if you force me to hold you in this room, I will. I wouldn't try to stop me if I... Come in. Pedro, do not order me to leave till you hear me out. On the contrary, please come in, Tayo. Pedro has something he wants to tell you. I hardly know how to begin. Now, please, relax. Go right ahead. While, while, while I grew up, you were my hero. I admired you and wanted to be like you. Last night, I saw what she, what she and I were doing to you. I did not know what she was until last night. Then I saw... Tayo, please sit down. We are through now. What's to become of her, huh? It does not matter now. Now's as good a time as any, Pedro. And, and, and you were right, Pedro. I could have helped you. Huh? See, huh? I have spoken to those in a position to decide bullfight matters. You have... See, Pedro, I have made arrangements for you to fight again. <laughs> 
<laughs> you tayo de vaca. You have helped me. <laughs> I did not think uh, to amuse you, Pedro. Uh, forgive me, Dio. Forgive me. I was just thinking. This afternoon you fight. You fight in my place against Diablo. I will go now. But I will be at the arena to watch. Good luck. Thank you, Dio. Well, that's settled. A real guy, huh? See, si, John. I should say. You're coming along, Pedro. I misjudged him. I was afraid of dying. Not afraid of the bull. Now the opposite is true. I am afraid of the bull. Not of death. Hey, wait a minute. You're not thinking of going Certainly, into that... my door. friend, I am going into the ring this afternoon. I will fight the great Diablo. I'm going down to the plaza and call this whole thing no, off. No, you're not. You are not. Let go of me. I hate to do this, John. <laughs> I'm sorry. But in Spain, a bullfighter is a bullfighter. <laughs> I should have known, John. How could you? The way he laughed when I told him he was to fight in my place. No other course. It was a glorious fight. Yeah. The master. Only Pedro could convince the bull who has been worked to chase the cape. He did, for a while. You watched a brave man, Tayo. Superb. Superb in his mastery. I am only sorry you got to the plata too late to stop him. Yeah. You had better get aboard, John. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Well, goodbye, Tayo. We will never see a braver man. I only hope I become half the torero he was. Yeah, I hope you do. <laughs> Friends, you've just heard The Cape or the Shroud. You know, the other day I read a small article in the paper saying that Tayo de Vaca had retired from the ring after an amazing career that had set new standards in bullfighting. The last line of the article said he'd retired to his bull ranch with his beautiful wife, Carmen. Well, you never can tell about people. Be around next week, huh, for a story that takes place in the desert of Australia. It involves a redhead named Rosie a guy who tried to double-cross her, a million dollars in gold, and a dingo pack. It's a real adventure I like to call Three Minus Two. Heard with me on today's transcribed John Steele adventure were Lon Clark, Adele Saul, and Nat Poland. I'm Don Douglas. Remember to be with us next week for another episode in the series John Steele, Adventurer. Remember... A country is known by its people. What people think of your country depends on you. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. <laughs>